When is international travel to and from Australia allowed? Can non-residents enter the country? Australia is expected to allow quarantine-free travel for fully vaccinated international arrivals into at least four states before Christmas. But hold on, this is not for everyone. Victoria and New South Wales will allow fully vaccinated overseas arrivals to enter Melbourne and Sydney without having to isolate from the 1st of November of 2021. But all travelers will be required to test negative for coronavirus. At this point, there are thousands, if not millions of people dying to see their loved ones. And since there isn't a quarantine requirement anymore, people are able to arrive in Sydney and walk out to the sunshine straight away. As long as they are fully vaccinated, of course. This all sounds good, but there are some caveats here. Who is allowed to enter the country? Can international students return? Can skilled workers and work and holiday makers enter the country? Well, it turns out international travel is still out of reach for international students or for anyone on a visa. Unfortunately, Australia has confirmed that it will only open for Australian citizens, permanent residents and their families. And there won't be any more limits on the number of people allowed to enter the country via New South Wales. The federal government, which controls visas, says it won't be issuing some visas in order to restrict travel and prioritize the return of Australians who've been stuck overseas. Which sort of makes sense. I mean, they are the citizens of this country. All states need to reach at least 80% fully vaccinated rates before the borders can be fully open and without quarantine. So, to conclude, as of November 2021, when it comes to being allowed into the country, it will still only be Australian citizens permanent residents and the immediate family members of those two groups. And now you may be asking, but why? And when can we expect things to change? Well, the Commonwealth government has decided to not let in other visa holders, including skilled workers, students or travelers. And the last time the Prime Minister was asked when those groups would be allowed in, he only replied, not yet. That's all we got. We have to live with this kind of revolting, not yet. The only discussions happening so far are the possibility that people from the New Zealand South Island can travel to Australia, as well as people from Singapore. They will be part of this supposedly green lane and people from these two areas of the globe will be able to travel quarantine free to Australia. The health minister, Mr. Hunt, also said that broader international travel was still a way off. In phase one, they want double vaccinated travel for Australians to leave and for Australian residents and immediate family to come back, he said. Phase two is for priority visa holders, such as students and priority workers. And then finally, phase three would be for fully vaccinated international travelers that would include tourism to arrive. Now, I remember a few months back, there were rumors that the Australian borders would fully open to everyone around July of 2022, which is quite shocking. But so far, everything we see on the news is kind of lining up to that estimated time. And what is the good news? Well, lately, business groups are urging the government to double the skilled migration intake during the recovery from COVID-19. This also has the support of the state of New South Wales and the federal treasurer Josh Frydenberg said the government was rethinking the size and the composition of the migration program post-pandemic. But for now, for us foreigners, you are either stranded in Australia, like me, or barred out of Australia. That's all for now, folks. I hope I have helped answer your questions. I have a YouTube channel about traveling and living in other parts of the world. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. That's it for now. See you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe for more.